It was a scorching day at Park Paddocks for the third edition of the Somerville Yearling Sale. With the mercury rising outside, the bidding in the ring was equally hot, with a record seven lots fetching 100,000 guineas or more. Whitsbury Manor Studs Havana Gray again proved popular, and it was this filly out of Minoria who hit the sale's top price of 155,000 guineas. The half-sister to Group 3 Third, It's Showtime Baby, was bought by Stroud Coleman's Matt Coleman for owner Charlie Rosier. I thought she was one of the standout sales, both in the, both in the physical. Um, Havana Gray's had a fantastic year. Um, and to be honest, I completely fell in love with her. I went down to Whitsbury earlier to see Joe Callan, who's a very old friend of mine. And I just looked at her and fell in love, to be honest. <laughs> as silly as that sounds. But no, she's... Uh, I think there's been some lovely horses here. Um, it's not a sale I bought out before, um, but we're very excited. This chestnut son of Galloway caught the eye of agent Ross Doyle, who fought off underbidders to secure the colt for 145,000 guineas. It was just a very nice physical. We went to see him yesterday. Uh, very easy mover. Every time we went back to see him, he just showed like a complete professional. Um, Gary and Fergal, the two lads that have produced him, obviously bought him very well as a foal and produced him very well as a yearling. And the sire is getting some very good horses. He'll go into training with Richard Hannon, leaving Drumhill stud, and it was an emotional day for the vendor, Gary Dowling, who picked up the colt for €27,000 as a foal. It's a fantastic result. Um, it's really what it's all about, isn't it? Like, I mean, I never got anything near the, like, you know, there is, there's, a, there's a few of us in the horse, like, so thankfully yeah, it all worked out for us all, and um, yeah, but no, it's just great, yeah, yeah. Culworth Grounds Farm was celebrating after their homebred Havana Gray filly was knocked down for 140,000 guineas to Hamish McCauley Bloodstock and Ammo Racing. Her half-brother Odyssey was placed in the Group 2 Superlative Stakes and the Chesham Stakes, so consigner Sophie Buckley had high hopes heading into today. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, I think it's even more special because it's a homebred. Um, but yeah, a great thrill. I knew that really from the outset, she's always been a queen, she's a great model. And then we, you know, she had two brilliant updates. Havana Gray's just gone from strength to strength. And Pat Owens did a great job of training Odyssey to give us some lovely black type updates. So it was, it was great to get really two updates on both sides and it all helps. Earlier in the day, the first horse to fetch a six figure sum was this daughter of Prince of Lear, who was sold to trainer Diego Diaz along with agent Robson Aguiar for 130,000 guineas from Monkston Stables. The Brazilian, who fielded a first runner in Group 1 company just a few months after taking out his licence, is looking forward to growing his string next season. Actually, just a nice video. We came and look her a couple of times and every show is the same. You know, she just put the head down and walks really nice. I only have five horses in training at the moment, but um, we hope to have at least 20 yearlings for uh, next year for the Breeze Ups, you know. Plantation Studs showcasing colt was sold for 115,000 guineas, bought by Blanford Bloodstock. His dam, Fast Lily, has produced two winners from two runners, including the US stakes winner, Unanimous Consent. I love the stallion. Um, the, uh, the mayor's already done it and um, thought he was a you know, superb individual. For me, everyone says it, but for me he was the nicest colt here today and I'm delighted to get him. We've had some luck with showcasing, had swing along with Carl. Um, Stalin that uh, we've had a bit of luck with, so yeah, Sheikh Juma was keen to have a crack and luckily we got him. Wrapping up the day, Tattersall's marketing director Jimmy George couldn't have been happier with this increasingly popular sale. Tattersall's Somerville Yearling Sale has made huge progress in its, its short existence. This is only the third year. A couple of years ago, the turnover was below 5 million guineas, an average of just over 20,000 guineas and a median in around 16,000. So today, turnover in excess of eight and a half million guineas, an average well over 30,000 guineas and, uh, and a median of 28,000, which I, I think show the extraordinary progress this sale has made in a very short period of time. And it's a reflection of the quality of the yearlings that the consigners are sending to the Tattersall Somerville yearling sale. They've showed confidence in this sale from the word go, and they've been well rewarded for that. I mean, the key to this sale is 
good individuals, precocious individuals that will perform at the highest level we hope as two year olds and the, the run of success, the recent run of success of graduates of the Somerville Yearling Sale has been extraordinary. I mean, Brad Sill winning the King Stand Stakes at Royal Ascot set the tone and in recent weeks we've had the Lowther Stakes winner Group 2 Relief Rally and uh, winner of the Tattersall's Acom Stakes, another Group 3 winner in the, in the shape of Indian Run and uh, further afield in California the Del Mar Oaks winner, it's another grade one race, won by a filly called Anisette who only cost 26,000 guineas at the Somerville Yearling Sale a couple of years ago. So these sort of results do not go unnoticed and that's what's brought the buyers here in such big numbers today and uh, they're confident that they will come here and go away with animals of similar quality.